Hi, I'm Mrs. Sullivan. I work with English language learners at Columbus East High School, which means I get to see what's going on in a lot of your classes. One thing I'm noticing is you guys are struggling with its learning and keeping up with all the digital curriculum this year. So I decided to make a little video with some do's and don'ts and some helpful tips to navigate its learning. So whether you're a bridge student or maybe you've had to quarantine and miss a few days, or maybe you're here every day and you're still confused, I hope this video will help you. Don't forget to share with your friends and let's help each other get through this together. Number one, don't click on links from the recent updates section of the homepage. It's learning should not be treated like Instagram or TikTok. While you might spend hours scrolling, liking, and sharing on social media, you need to take a strategic and goal-directed approach to its learning. Do follow your schedule. If you're doing school from home, you need to virtually attend each course for that day and complete all the assignments as if you were actually there. You can access your courses by clicking Courses at the top. Can't find your math class? Click All Courses and then make sure you click the star so it shows up next time. You can also access your courses by going to Home and then Courses. I recommend writing down your schedule and checking it off as you finish the assignments for that day. And then be sure to do a happy dance and reward yourself with a treat for your accomplishment. Just like you, each of your teachers is unique. Their classroom and their virtual classroom are going to be a little bit different. So take the time to get to know how that teacher's course works so you know what to expect and especially how to turn in assignments. Number two. Don't send a rude message to your teacher the moment you see a zero in the gradebook or are struggling to find an assignment. Your teachers are working extremely hard teaching in person and online, while also dealing with their own physical and mental health issues that come with teaching in the middle of a pandemic. A message that comes across as rude and ungrateful might send them over the edge. And it's not likely to help your grade either. Do double check its learning and respectfully communicate with your teachers. If you get a zero and you're not sure why, sign into PowerSchool and check the date and name of the assignment. Then go to its learning and find that date and look for the assignment. And if your teacher went an extra step and posted a link in the gradebook, use that because it will take you straight to it. Read everything carefully. Chances are you missed something in the instructions or maybe didn't submit the assignment the correct way. Another way to check that everything is turned in is by checking the overview section in each course. Sometimes students forget to click Submit and then the teacher will not see that you have completed it. If you still have questions, feel free to email or message your teacher. But remember that he or she is likely teaching at the moment and will not be able to respond immediately. It's also possible that they'll respond with, Sorry, it's too late to turn that one in. Take it as a learning experience and vow to stay on top of things better next time. Number three, don't skip over assignments that aren't for a grade. Teachers will post readings, videos, PowerPoints, etc. that may not be graded. However, they are just as important, maybe even more so. If you are taking a just get it all done approach, you're missing out and it's likely to have consequences. Do take responsibility for your learning. Even though you aren't physically in class, you are still responsible for learning the material. Pay attention to the why of learning, and hopefully that will help you become more purposeful and motivated as you work to complete assignments. Number four, don't give up. I know that this can seem overwhelming, but you got this. You may have to develop some new skills and discover what it means to be resourceful and knowledgeable. You may need to ask for help and develop some new habits, but giving up should not be an option. Working through your obstacles is when true learning takes place. Do take care of yourself and others and be resourceful. I know I just said don't give up, but it's totally okay to take a break. Go for a walk, eat a healthy snack, give yourself a few minutes to refocus, then get back at it. If you don't understand something, use your resources. You have the entire internet at your fingertips. Your teacher probably already has some resources available to you. If not, YouTube has tons of quick informative videos that explain pretty much anything. Is it a technology issue? Check out the It's Learning Tips for Students page or call the hotline. Whatever obstacle you are facing, there is always a way. A year ago, we never expected to be in this situation. We've had to struggle, adapt, and struggle some more. But as Friedrich Douglas said, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. I think we've got the struggle part down. Now let's start working on the progress. Let's go, Olympians. You got this.